We've got 63.50. There from Edom Claw, the Claw Boss. Representing the Red Alliance, we got Team 948 from Bellevue Energy. In the middle slot, we got Team 9411. Team 4911 is out of Seattle, the Cyber Knights. And rounding out this alliance, we got some imposters again. Team 9910 from Mill Creek, Jack in the Bot 2. With two thumbs up and a green light, we're ready to start qualification match number 13. Drivers behind the line, and in three, two, one, rush. All six of these teams with a vision and high hopes for qualification match number 13. Through the trench, Jack in the Mott 2 scoops up, <laughs> scoops up another power cell after scoring, I think, all five of the initial ones they started with. Didn't quite catch all of it. Leaderboard would, it appears, agree with me. 31 to 19, the score coming out of the autonomous period here as drivers now take control. NRG for blue over here, trying to mess up the Red Alliance cycles. And not only are they successful at distracting Royal Robotics, but they provide enough of, I guess, a peripheral distraction for the Sushi squad to miss four out of the five power cells they tried on this offensive cycle. They'll run back to the red trench at the bottom of the field and try to scoop up yet some more. A little over a minute and a half left to play. Cyber Knights for Blue are at the top of the field near the Blue Trench. Underneath the Blue Generator switch there. They're now going to compete with Royal Robotics for those power cells. And they go their separate ways. Three power cells loaded into the Blue Alliance machine. They go flying. And they'll try yet again. Definitely a party over on the right side of the field there for Red. Two Blue Alliance machines over that way. It looks like they're both playing a defensive role as opposed to going to the human player station to fuel up. Both focused on that Red Alliance Royal Robotics machine. Leaving the other two Red Alliance robots free to do just about whatever they want, but the Clawbots are kind of just spinning around in circles here, driving around, finding their bearings, figuring out where they want to go, and the Sushi Squad are camping out Looks like with a broken roller, they don't have too many other options. So they'll just camp out and wait under the generator switch for the end game period. 10 seconds until said end game period. Blue Alliance robots now kind of dispersing. Nope, they will not disperse out of the Red Alliance zone. Jack in the Bot 2 just spins around doing donuts and another and another and another. End game whistle sounds and they'll go under the generator switch along with those Red Alliance machines. Clawbots are latched on for red. Only red robot currently attached to the switch. In fact, the only robot attached to a switch. Lots of clicking and grinding, but it sounds like they're going to stay here. I spoke too soon. OK, now it looks like they'll stay up there. Jack in the Bot 2 for blue is able to get airborne as well right before the match expires. And our referees will tally up all of this endgame score for you here shortly.
match 13 results are in the Blue Alliance. Wins the match. Your final score for that one, 139 to 56. And the standard set of two rank points issued out to that winning alliance. We'll see you soon for qualification match 14. Remember that we are going through 26. That is an inclusive range. So 12-ish eh, more matches to go. See you soon.